So let's be honest. Since being stuck at home for the past few weeks, I've been drinking a little bit more than normal. But I have all these alcohol bottles at home, and I figure it's a perfect time to start taking some pictures of them. So join me today as we try to take some beautiful drink and bottle photography. Welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant, and I take pictures. So today we're going to take a picture of a Bartini and its component ingredients. So I have a bottle of Tanqueray uh, gin and a bottle of, of dry vermouth and a martini glass. So I am going to clear off my desk here, set up my lights and camera, and then go make a drink and try to take a pretty picture of it. So my desk here is going to be the base in which my drink uh, sits on, and I'm going to use this green wall as backdrop. I think it will set the bottle of Tanqueray and the bottle of Vermouth off nicely. It'll, you know, it's a very kind of monochromatic look, uh, but with this kind of reddish tabletop. So I think that will pick up the reds in the label, both um, I'm using Martini and Rossi Vermouth and uh, on the Tanqueray bottle as this red emblem on it. So we are going to see how that works out. My goal is to do this all in camera. Most of the time when you see pictures of bottles, they are composited like you wouldn't believe. There will be one image that's just for the cap, one image for one side of the bottle, another image for the other side of the bottle, an image for the label, an image for the, the reflection in the tabletop, an image for the background, and all brought together in Photoshop. My goal is to get one picture in the camera that makes everything look good. So we'll see if we can do that. All right, so I got my desk cleaned off and the bottles and glass placed how I, generally how I want them. Um, I don't have any of the lights set up yet. Um, and I have my camera here in the general place I want. Um, I think it's too low right now, but I haven't even looked through the viewfinder yet to see what it's seeing. But what I know is I want low angle shot, kind of looking directly at the bottles, almost looking up at them, so they kind of look grand and majestic. Um, and the, the desk looks as short as it possibly can. So that is the goal right now. Let's look through the viewfinder and see what we see here at the beginning. So this height is actually almost exactly what I'm looking for. And the camera is just above the desk. I think I wanna bring the bottles and uh, the glass closer to the camera. They look a little bit diminutive and the desk in front of them is a little too small. So as I'm looking at this a little bit more, I don't really like what I'm seeing. I'm actually looking up through the front side of the glass and I can see the back side through the front side. I would prefer this, the uh, rim of the glass to be perfectly level. So I'm gonna raise up my camera and see if I can achieve what I want. So right here I have a nice level rim of my glass, but I can't see the base of it now. Either we're gonna to have to move it back again um, or tilt the camera down. I don't know which one's the better idea. I think that's the way to go. Just move the glass a little bit. I have a bunch of excess space in the top of the frame, but I always like four by five, so I can just crop all of that out, and I think it'll get us where we need to go. Let's move the bottles so they are in about the position we need them uh, in relation to the glass. All right, so the position of them, looking at them here on the table, looks a little funny, but looking through the viewfinder, I think it works. So now it's time to adjust the lighting a little bit. Right now I have these lights set up for the video. I have my normal office lights on. I need to turn all those off and really focus on the light that is showing up here on the bottle. So let's do that now and see what we can get, if we can get the highlights we want just on the bottle and glass. Alexa, turn off the office lights. 
All right, so I've ended up with a three light setup and I think this works okay. I haven't taken any test images yet, so we're, we will definitely have to address things. But I have one main light over here uh, that illuminates this side of the bottle, the most of the label on the tank array bottle and the entire label on the vermouth bottle. I have another light here that is more diffused than this light um, that brings in some fill. And then I have a backlight over here that is bringing light in through the back, especially of the tank array bottle and making it light up just a little bit more. I am shooting this at F16, five seconds, ISO 100. And we'll see how this turns out. For a first shot, I am incredibly happy with that. Of course, you know what we're missing? We're missing an actual martini in this class. So I'm gonna go mix up a martini, pour it in here, and then see what we can get. All right, so I got everything I need to make a martini here. And uh, you know, the reason I'm making martinis tonight, I don't drink a lot of gin actually, but I had this unopened bottle of Tanqueray, this unopened bottle of vermouth, because this bottle of Tanqueray is almost empty. So um, let's uh, go ahead and make this thing. I'm gonna make a Churchill martini today. So first, we take our vermouth, we look off in the direction of France, and that's enough vermouth for this martini. Then we take our gin, pour it over ice, make sure it gets nice and cold. and pour it very gently into our glass so there are no bubbles. So at this point, we need to move pretty quick. There, there is condensation forming on the glass and we wanna get the picture before that condensation drips. So let's see, we're on the same settings we were before. It is F16 five seconds, ISO 100. So we're getting a couple places blown out, right here on the side of the glass and here on the side of the Tanqueray bottle. So I'm gonna back it down by uh, one full stop to two and a half seconds and see where that gets us. We're still getting a little tiny spot of uh, the highlights on the glass being blown out. I'm gonna just back it down to two seconds now. and bring it down a third of a stop each time until we get the exposure we need. So that's looking pretty good. However, I'm now noticing something else in the background. This light in the corner is illuminating the wall just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna find something to create a bit of a barn door and try to block that light off so it only hits the back of the bottles. All right, so we made quite a few adjustments to the lights. I moved the backlight more around the back and faced it more directly towards the camera. That got the light off of the background, off of the wall, um, but it also helped illuminate the back of the bottles a little bit better. I like this lighting setup quite a bit more. But once I moved that light, um, I had to move this front light a little bit as well. So we're gonna try this again, see how it looks. We're getting a couple little highlights right here on the side of the bottle that are blown out. We're gonna bring it down to 1.6 seconds, another third of a stop, and see if that works. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna pull this bottle, or the, I'm gonna pull this light further back. That got rid of one of the two highlights. What I'm finding is that the Tanqueray bottle is too bright, and the vermouth bottle is not bright enough. So I'm gonna pull that back, and then increase my exposure time a little bit and hopefully it evens out the two bottles. So I think that gets us almost there. Nothing's blowing out. Still don't have quite enough light on the Tanqueray bottle. I'm going to clean up some of this other stuff over here and adjust this light 
just a little bit. All right, I have that light adjusted. Let's take one more shot. I have a feeling we're gonna end up taking more than one more shot. Just a hunch. So I'll tell you what I need. I need another light coming in from that side of the vermouth bottle, backlighting it, just like I have that light backlighting the Tanqueray bottle. I have one more light out in the garage. I'm gonna go grab it and set this up as a fourth light to light this little scene. All right, so I got that extra light back there. So now we're on a four light setup. There's a Star Trek The Next Generation joke I can make here. I won't. Let's see what we get. So incredibly, that's not blowing out any of the highlights. So it may not be blowing out any of the highlights, but it's giving this kind of funny haze over here. There's way too much light now on the backdrop. So I'm gonna try to move this light just a little bit and uh, see if I can get it away from the background and uh, not illuminating everything. Right now, I wish I had a little snoot for this. All right, I moved it around a little bit. Let's see what we get. That's turning out real nice. I think I'm happy with that one. Uh, the condensation on the glass is starting to drip just a little bit. I have a second glass. It's actually in the freezer, so it would come out all nice and frosty. But I think I like this natural condensation a little bit more. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So, if you have enjoyed this video of me taking a photo of this here drink, hit that like button. I try to bring you a new video every Tuesday and Friday. And uh, if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a great day. That's gotten a little warm. I'll be honest, not the greatest.